So today I wanted to talk to you guys about what you can expect during the first actual week of you being eating nutritious food, working out, and there are things that a lot of people forget to tell you, or maybe you just don't think about it, you may not realize that things like this happen. Um, but I'm going to talk to you about detox phase, because that happens. I'm going to talk to you about how to handle people asking what you're doing that may not be like them asking in a nice way. And I'm also going to talk to you about, um, about how you should expect Shakeology to affect your digestion and a couple of things that are unexpected at times. Um, we're, are, we're all different, right? We all have different bodies and our bodies react to things differently. And I want to make sure that you're prepared for every little hiccup that might come around Remember, you're starting something totally new. So your body's not used to everything that we're doing. It might be used to a few things, but you're totally doing an overhaul on your nutrition. So I wanna be, make sure that you're prepared. First thing I wanna talk to you about is your Shakeology. So if you haven't already watched the video on how I make my Shakeology, go over to our Facebook group or in here in the My Challenge Tracker app and watch the video. My favorite way to make it is the full packet or a whole scoop with almond milk, about 16 ounces of almond milk, and a frozen half banana. And that's for almost every flavor simply because it turns that Shakeology into this creamy, smooth, like ice cream. So it's easy to go down, you enjoy it. When you first start drinking Shakeology, you may not like the taste. You're introducing something totally healthy and un saturated with extra fats and sugars that you're gonna be like I don't know if I like this okay if you're not a hundred percent in love with Shakeology in the beginning your taste buds are gonna be adjusting to a lot of things that are new you're gonna be taking a lot of processed foods and sweeteners out of your diet and this is going to be the beginning of training your taste buds within the first week of drinking your Shakeology you should notice increased energy your digestion is going to change. For some people, it will increase the amount of times you go to the bathroom, like your bowel movements, going potty number two, is going to increase. And for some people, it decreases. If you notice that within the first week or two, your bowel movements do not become more frequent or are slowing down, I want you to cut down to half a scoop or half a packet when you make your Shakeology. Because again, you are removing a bunch of the, the um, processed foods and replacing it with nutrient dense foods. And your gut might not be ready to process that. It's introducing new bacteria into your gut to make sure that you're able to digest all of these nutrient dense foods. So cutting back to half is actually going to help promote healthy digestion and help you um, process all the extra fiber that's in Shake All make sure and remind you to drink plenty of water because the food that you're eating now is going to be very high in fiber and your gut likes extra water to help keep things moving and flowing so make sure you're drinking plenty of water especially um, before and after you drink your Shakeology just to help promote that digestion find that you're still having a hard time drinking your Shakeology and making it the way that I suggested with the almond milk and the frozen goodies in there let me know or the coach that signed you up so that we can adjust the flavor. You can swap out Shakeology flavors as many times as you need to to find the one that works for you. I'm also going to suggest that if you didn't already start with a vegan plan with a vegan Shakeology that you do so because the protein in the in the vegan is so much easier to digest and goes down smoothly. Doesn't have as much of a chalky taste or texture. So if you're finding it that you're like, uh, I cannot drink this. Um, I don't want you to sit with a bag and not drink it. So let's talk about it. We'll switch it out at no cost to you. Okay, now that we have the Shakeology all taken care of and you don't have any questions, let's talk about the detox phase. So when you start replacing your processed foods with healthier options, with clean choices, your body is going to kind of get a little bit of a shock and almost go through a withdrawal phase. You're going to sometimes feel very fatigued because your body's really having to refocus its energy to process these healthier foods in a new way. Everything is changing on the inside 
and you're not gonna see those changes immediately um, take effect on the outside. So chill out, don't worry about the mirror. Know that everything is changing on the inside. You might even feel like, oh my gosh, I think I'm coming down with the flu. Don't freak out, this is normal. Your body's way of detoxing all of the processed foods, toxins, whatever is in the previous diet that you have been consuming out of your cells. It is okay. All of the nutrients that you're putting in your body from including more vegetables, drinking plenty of water, drinking your Shakeology is helping push out all the negative stuff that has been weighing you down. And it's almost like going through withdrawals. Now, if you spike a fever or you really feel like you're getting sick and rest and drinking plenty of water isn't fixing it, of course, go see your doctor. But do know that within the first week or two of starting a new regimen of working out and eating healthy, this is a normal process. Things to do if you feel like you're going through withdrawals, aka detox. Number one, make sure that you're eating all your food. Make sure that you're consuming all the container portions that you're supposed to be eating and drink plenty of water. Still get your workout in. 30 minutes, do the best you can because sweating it out is going to help. You're going to feel better after your workout, I promise you. Also, make sure that you're getting plenty of sleep. You're starting something totally new, and I, I'm sure you already know this because you went to school, you went to that biology class, and they told you a lot of the repairs that happen to your body, the healing, the transitions to cleaner, brand new cells happens when you're sleeping. So make sure that you're getting at least your eight hours of sleep to make sure that you are giving your body time to repair from everything that you're doing that's new. So eight hours of sleep, check your sleep, check your nutrition, check your water consumption. And if you're still finding that you don't feel well and that you're really like sick, you know, vomiting, nausea, all of those things, you might have something else going on. Please go, go check in with your doctor. That's totally fine. But most times you will feel these withdrawal phase, these detox phase, happening within a week seven days of starting a brand new regimen um, I just want to make sure that you're prepared for that a lot of people quit around week one or week two because this detox phase goes on and they don't know what it is don't work out they decide oh my gosh this isn't for me this is too hard and I don't want that to happen to you I want you to go in prepared knowing that this may happen and know how to overcome it by resting making sure you're getting all your nutrients and getting that extra workout in prepared prepared for this issue that might come up not everybody goes through it but a lot of us do having a lot of fun with these filters so <laughs> i'm changing them up lastly let me talk to you guys about how to deal with family members who are unsupportive they love you and they might even think that they are supporting you some of them have a sneaky way of being unsupportive and kind of give you backhanded compliments. I've been there. I get it. It sucks. But here's the thing. Remember that you're doing this for you. And standing up to somebody like that isn't always easy. So what I recommend is sit down with them and let them know, hey, this is what I'm doing and this is why. Fill them in on why you got started on your journey. Allow yourself to be a little bit vulnerable, but also let them know if they're not going to be supportive, that they don't need to be around you until they're ready to be supportive or until you're strong enough to handle their issues with themselves. You start changing your lifestyle and your habits, people start to become more aware of their lifestyle and their habits and also makes them kind of feel self-conscious. So in a way, they're kind of trying to make sure that they feel secure and safe in their own little space become somebody they don't relate to 100% if you used to be the go-to girl to go out and eat with them and go out and party or just eat junk food with them they don't have that person anymore and you need to let them know hey I still love you and if you want to hang out I'm cool but I'm no longer doing things that are gonna help me become diabetic or become a sick person I'm trying to do things to change for my health so letting them know hey I'm not trying to leave you behind join them join me you know tell them to join you 
and let them know that you're still there for them, but you want to be healthier, it kind of makes a big difference. I remember that when I first got started, week one went fine. Oh, you're eating healthier. Week two went by and they're like, oh, you're still doing that. Okay. And then by week three and four, they're like, oh, you're losing too much weight. You're getting too skinny. Do not let the opinions of other people and expectations they have of you and where you should be, do not let them in. Do not let those things dictate what you're doing because remember, this is about you and not about them. Their opinions do not matter. So if you're starting to get those comments of, oh, you're getting too skinny or you're fine just the way you are, remember that yes, they're trying to be supportive, I get it, but if I was fine just the way I was, I wouldn't want to be doing what I am right now. Because I'm fine the way I am doesn't mean that I can't always improve. There's always room for improvement and let them know, look, I'm doing something to improve who I am. There's always room for improvement. And if you're wanting to do this with me, cool. And if not, I understand that too. But please do not put your expectations of me on me. I, I am the only one who gets to put those on myself. So I know it's going to be hard to stand up to some of these people. It might be your mom. It might be your grandma, your sister. But just know they come from a place of love. And you can tell them from a place of love, hey, back off. There's one more thing that I wanted to mention before I let you guys go. By now, going into week two, approaching week three, you're going to feel that new feeling, that, that new relationship phase, the excitement, start to wear off. That's okay. This is where the habit and the routine is going to start taking over. So hopefully by now you've, been, you've made it a routine to check into our My Challenge Tracker app, to get your 30 minutes a day in, to start looking at your meal planning every Sunday and make that something that you do, cooking ahead of time so that you have your meals packed and ready to go. After the, I wanna say like the honeymoon phase of our boot camp, this is where the grit and the routine take over and carry you on and give you that extra motivation when it's not excitement where knowing that you have big dreams and big goals is also going to help out. So I want you to make those goals that we talked about yesterday. Set up those SMART goals, focus on your nutrition and not just the numbers, and focus more on how you feel more than how you look. Do you have the energy? Do you fit into those jeans a little bit better? Is that muffin top a little less noticeable in your shirt? Like those are all feelings that you get. Week two and going into week three, we should have a good routine already set in place so that you kind of already have like a little habit. Becoming a creature of habit is okay, especially when you're trying to implement a whole new routine and get better with your health and nutrition. So it's okay for you to have slip ups. It's okay to kind of need help. So if you need any of those tips or tricks on how to Make sure that you're packed and ready to go for work or that you're traveling. What should I do? Let me know. I'm here to answer all your questions and to help make sure that you stick to a good routine that works for you. What works for one person isn't going to work for everybody. And guess what? I've kind of lived through a lot of these different situations and scenarios that I'm here to help you in almost any of them. Have questions, doubts, suggestions, or anything to share that's exciting too, share them in the group. Everybody everybody in there is on this journey with you and they want to hear about it i want to hear about it and we're here to support each other so if you are posting there's something for me to look at and to cheer you on with. guys well that's all i have for you for today make sure you drop any questions in the comments and let me know if you need help with anything or if there's something specific that you want me to talk about